Welcome to Eastern Paradigm. I'm Zeber Basumatari. The recent release of eight Indian Navy veterans who were detained in Qatar has brought immense relief and joy to their families, friends, and communities across India. These eight individuals, namely Captain Navdeh Singh Gill, Captain Saurav Vasisht, Commander Purnendu Tiwari, Captain Birendra Kumar Verma, Commander Sugunakar Pakala, Commander Sanjeev Gupta, Commander Amit Nagpal, and Sailor Ragesh were engaged in their professional duties with Dara Global Com Company in Qatar when they were unexpectedly arrested on charges of espionage on August 30, 2022. Following their arrest, a series of events unfolded, marking a lengthy and challenging journey for the detained veterans and their loved ones. The Indian government promptly initiated efforts to secure consular access and legal representation for them. Recognizing the gravity of the situation and the need to ensure due process and fair treatment. However, their pleas for bail were repeatedly rejected by the Qatari authorities, prolonging their period of detention and adding to the uncertainty surrounding their fate. As the legal proceedings continued, the closure of Dara Global Company's operations in Doha in May 2023 further complicated the situation for the detained men, depriving them of the support and assistance they might have otherwise received from their employer. This development underscored the vulnerability of individuals working abroad and the importance of robust mechanisms for safeguarding their rights and welfare. Amidst mounting concerns and diplomatic efforts, the situation took a dramatic turn in August 2023 when a Qatari court handed down a shocking verdict, sentencing all eight men to death. This development sent shockwaves across India and prompted swift action from the Indian government which promptly filed an appeal against a death penalty in November 2023. The turning point came on November 23, 2023, when the Qatari court accepted India's appeal, signaling a glimmer of hope for the detained veterans and their families. This crucial decision paved the way for a subsequent announcement in December 2023, confirming that the eight ex-Navy personnel would face commuted punishments instead of the previously imposed death sentence. After enduring over 18 months of uncertainty and hardship, the veterans' long-awaited moment of freedom finally arrived on February 12, 2024, when they were released from detention. The news of their release was met with jubilation and gratitude across India, with seven out of the eight men returning home, while one remained in Qatar. The significance of their release cannot be overstated, as it, only, as it not only re represents a personal victory for the veterans and their families, but also underscores the importance of diplomatic engagement and international cooperation in resolving complex legal and humanitarian issues. Moreover, the role played by Prime Minister Modi and uh, Indian government in securing their release highlights the government's commitment to protecting the rights and interests of Indian nationals abroad. That's all for today's news. For more updates, keep watching Eastern Paradigm. We present to you Shakti Yatra. Shakti Yatra, the ultimate travel experience. Looking for a comfortable and hassle-free travel experience? Look no further than Shakti Yatra. Our new bus service offers a convenient and affordable way to travel between Kokrajar and Guwahati. With Shakti Yatra, you can enjoy a smooth and comfortable ride in our state-of-the-art buses. Our buses are equipped with modern amenities such as air conditioning, comfortable seating and ample legroom to ensure that you have a comfortable journey. 
our experienced and professional drivers are committed to providing you with a safe and enjoyable travel experience. Booking your ticket is easy and hassle-free. You can book your tickets offline from the ticket counter near Pragati Vavan and also online through www.redbus.in. So why wait? Book your ticket with Shakti Yatra today and experience the ultimate travel experience.